really think it did occur to me that you use your trucks for the refugees? Maurice, Robert, I may be... <coughs> I may be stubborn, but I am not also able to appreciate high-minded motives when I, when I find them. I can admit my own faults. That doesn't bother me, but you mustn't do the same. Let's forget our little personal differences. Let's stand stanchy together against our common enemy. Let's shake hands on that. And now you will open your suitcase so that we can all see what you are taking with you. Is that necessary, Maman? <laughs> oh, my God. It belongs to the hostelry. I gave it to her. I didn't do her much, it didn't do her much good. Take your leave of the personnel now, Simone. Goodbye, Mr. of the city of Orleans and because the rats of the city of Orleans were fed with stolen food. Death! Death. <laughs> Captain Fatal, Monsieur. For the plot against the city of Paris and for the illegal gasoline. Death! Death. But Monsieur Henry, it's me, it's me you're condemning. For the unification of all Frenchmen. Death! The mayor, O oh Monsieur Chavez. Your high judges have spoken, Joan. <laughs> but they're all Frenchmen. It's a mistake. No, mademoiselle, the court of justice is French. You should know that from your book. Naturally, the maid is condemned by French judges. That's as it should be, since she herself is French. That's true. That I'm to be condemned to die, I know from my book. But I would like to know why, you see. I can never quite understand why. She wants a trial. What's the sense of having a trial when the sentence has already been pronounced? Well, then at least we'll have had an investigation. We'll have heard the accused, argued the matter, and weighed it in the balance. And found her wanting. But all right, 
if you demand it. Of course, we're not prepared for this. So I went off to save this area. I went without my trousers. Soon a great commotion arose. Where, pray, are your trousers? Said I to them, but save this area. The heavens are too blue. The oaks are all too high. And the heavens are all too blue. Why? What are you doing? Why are you following me? We're following you because we're your bodyguards. But I'd rather you didn't sing that song. It doesn't seem to fit. We're betrothed to you, Joan. So behave yourself properly. Am I betrothed to you too, Maurice? Yes, secretly. Peter Gustav enters. Peter Gustav. Leave me alone, you. Make me tend the cannons of my age. The nerve. Love on your tips and die for France. Simone says softly. But France, your mother is in danger. My mother was Madame Perrault, a, a washwoman. She was in danger of consumption. But what could I do? I have no money for a hundred different medicines. Simone shouts. Then I command you. And even louder. In the name of the God and, in the, and of the angel. And as loud as that, she can. And you return and take charge of your cannons. I'll polish them for you. Well, that's different. Here, carry my spear. He hands her the spear. How much longer, Simone? But I suppose it's all for the good of the roach. He speaks to her in dream language and Simone replies in the same way. You're absolutely right. Good. Let's go. You're limping, Simone. Uh, are your arms too heavy for you? Simone says suddenly he's very exhausted. I'm sorry. It's just because I didn't have a proper breakfast. I'll be alright soon. Robert, do you remember what I was meant to tell the king? See. Oh. <laughs>